The wave are getting close though, so stand by. FC fan Jackie here in Matt Row Stadium as San Diego Wave takes on the Houston Dash. So be sure to follow along here as we'll be going through our game day festivities as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Night. All right, you got Mike and he has his official trading card book. Wow, so many duplicates. <laughs> this is awesome. Cool. All right, I'm here with the very own Hippo. so far? I've been to every game so far in Torero, yeah. Oh my gosh, she is committed. We love it. So, do you have any messages for maybe potential people who want to join the supporters group or just any hype you got to share with the people? I mean, I'll say San Diego Sirens is a super fun group. We're all friends. We're having a good, good, goofy time here. Just hanging out, doing the best we can. Here we go. Love it. Thanks so much, Sarah. Go away. Uh, bye. Woo! So we got the starting 11 being announced right now against the Houston Dash, so get ready for some players coming out. All right, so the score is 1-1. One, one. Gonna go down into the supporters group section and let's see what kind of cheers they got. So here in the second half, it is currently it's currently tied 1-1. And so obviously we have our supporters group behind me. We are super excited and have been cheering all night long. The way we're getting close though, so stand by. So Mira just scored the second goal for the Wave to lead 2-1, to one, and now we're in the 70th minute. So stay tuned as we got hopefully some more goals coming, and fingers crossed that we can keep this lead. All right, fans, so if you know anything about our home games here, you've seen Alex Morgan's home break crowd here behind me. So that's a section where every home game she'll purchase 20 tickets for a youth team in San Diego, and tonight we have San Marcos Boys and Girls Club, so we're so excited to have them. All right, so it's currently 3-1, and Sophia Jakobsen just scored a goal with Mackenzie Doniak's second assist of the evening. So things are getting rowdy. We have a few more minutes of stoppage time, so hopefully we can continue to keep it that way. All right, Wave FC fam, so that's a wrap here at Guerrero as Wave got a 3-1 win against the Houston Dash. So now it's all eyes on 9-17 as we enter the new permanent home at Snapdragon City. So see you there.